Welcome back to the Barley Lads. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Today we're drinking Knob Creek Nine Year. Knob Creek Nine Year, a Kentucky straight bourbon from the Jim Beam Distillery in Claremont, Kentucky. 50% or 100 proof, the nine year age statement. Price wise, you should be able to get this for around $35. Mash bill, 75% corn, 13% rye, 12% malt. So this is Knob Creek nine year. Uh, if you've watched our videos in the past, one of our original videos was actually Jim Beam. And so Knob Creek is the same uh, distillery, the same mash bill, everything as Jim Beam. Uh, this is just one of their premium uh, brands. So you have Knob Creek, you have uh, Booker's, uh, sorry, I have to check my notes, Basil Hayden's and Baker's. And so those are all newer brand names that um, Jim Beam has put out under um, then Booker No, um, I believe at the time who was the, the president. And he wanted to start releasing some, what they would consider premium uh, brands of bourbon and so Knob Creek nine year um, this was originally introduced in 1992 and Knob Creek um, gets its name from Knob Creek Farms which is very close to the distillery and uh, it's very unique because of the age statement that it carries not very often you see a nine year anything um, but also it's not very often anymore that you see a, an age statement on any bourbons so um it's it, it also has small batch what, what do we consider small batch so different but I, I appreciate the nine year i don't appreciate small batch because it doesn't tell us anything about it but uh at 100 proof or 50 percent abv it's a higher percentage of alcohol it definitely lets us taste it a lot more than with you know, say a jim beam and so um, let's dive into it So something that I feel like you're always going to get from anything from the Jim Beam Distillery outside of, say, the Old Granddad or even Basil Hayden's because those are a different mash bill with a, a much higher rye content. It has a, a nutty quality to it, uh, specifically like peanuts. And I definitely get that on the nose. But I also get some um, almost like cherry and orange to it, but not a medicinal uh, off-putting cherry flavor and some spice like cinnamon Whew. hit the back of the throat a little wrong um, it doesn't drink at a higher proof than 100 it just hit me wrong but this is an excellent whiskey especially for the price on the taste cinnamon dark like berry fruit um, leather and oak I also get a, uh, a hint of chocolate I'll give this I'll actually give this a long finish it sticks with you for a while there is some herbal flavor from the the rye in there but something that sticks with me is the at this point it's almost like a bitter chocolate like a dark chocolate quality almost pushing towards like a, a roasted coffee bitter coffee flavor to it but again it circles back to the 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 cherries for me which is very interesting it's long finish um, great value on this yeah definitely recommend this if you're willing to spend 30 35 dollars on a whiskey knob creek you're not going to go wrong if you like jim beam you will love knob creek it is a far superior whiskey bourbon and it's just very high quality and you can't beat the fact that it has a nine-year age statement for the for the price so thanks again for watching another episode of the barley lads today we've been drinking knob creek nine 
Thank you to my brother Ian for letting us sample this bottle. Cheers.